Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I actually want to talk about something a little bit different than normal. So I am currently starting the long, arduous, challenging process of studying for the Certified Hand Therapist exam or CHT exam. Um, and it's going to be a while until I'm ready to sit for the boards. I'm actually first eligible for the exam this year, November 2019. Undecided if I'm going to sit for that first um, exam that I'm eligible for yet, but I will know a little bit more in a couple months. But I thought it would be fun to do a little YouTube video series um, talking all about kind of my road to CHT, right? So things like what is the CHT, um, talking about different study tools and tips, um, different ways that I'm preparing myself, different courses that I've taken and liked. Um, so I thought that might be kind of a fun idea for any of you out there who are interested in becoming a CHT or if you're you know, in OT or PT school right now and you're really thinking about becoming a hand therapist and you want to know a little bit more um, about what it takes or just if you're you know, a general normal person and you just really want to know what it means to be a hand therapist versus a CHT or a certified hand therapist. Um, so I thought that might be kind of a fun little video series and obviously comment below whether you think that might be fun or not. Um, but yeah, today I actually want to kind of give you guys a general overview, um, talk a little bit about what CHT means, what a certified hand therapist is, um, and what the requirements are to become one. So let's get into it. So what is a hand therapist anyway? Um, a hand therapist is a OT or occupational therapist or a PT, a physical therapist, um, who specializes or works with patients that have upper extremity conditions. So that can um, include the fingers, the hand, the wrist, forearm, elbow, um, sometimes up even into shoulder, neck, um, Typically, as an OT, in, in our practice where, um, where I work, we actually only treat from the elbows down to the fingertips because we have some physical therapists that treat um, the rest of the body in our clinic too, and they typically get all of our shoulder patients for our clinic. Um, but it really just depends on where you work, and, and definitely as a hand therapist, you need to have a lot of knowledge about the shoulder as well, even if you're not working directly with patients that have shoulder issues because... A lot of times patients with, you know, hand or wrist, elbow problems, they also have a lot of stuff going on in the shoulder, whether it's postural issues or they've got, you know, a rotator cuff tear, something else is going on too sometimes. We always, always work from proximal to distal, right? So you need to have knowledge about the hand, the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder um, to be a successful hand therapist. Um, but both PTs and OTs can work in hand therapy. I would say that it seems to be more common for OTs, um, but that may just be the experiences that I've had and kind of the clinics that I have, um, worked in or done my field work experiences in. Um, there's certainly a lot of PTs out there who are also hand therapists. So it's a little bit of a bridge between the fields, which is actually kind of cool. Um, we just have essentially different schooling, um, but essentially, in hand therapy, there's an, a lot of overlap into what PTs and OTs focus on. Um, so, uh, both of those professions, physical therapists, um, they have to get a doctorate degree, and currently, occupational therapists um, are required to get a master's degree. So, a little bit of difference in schooling there. Um, and then, hand therapy is just kind of a setting that you go into because you have an interest in working and specializing in treatment of patients with upper extremity or hand injuries and diagnoses. So yeah, that's um, what a hand therapist is. What is a certified hand therapist? So the certification um, is a completely optional process right now. It's not required for hand therapists to become certified hand therapists, um, but it is something that you get, a certification that you can achieve after sitting for a national board exam through the Hand Therapy um, Commission, Certification Commission, or the HTCC. Sorry, I butchered the name there. Um, but it is a standard certification exam. They offer it two times a year. It's either in May or November. 
um, and you have to have a certain number of years, a certain number of hours to be eligible to sit for this exam. So, and it just really, it elevates the profession, right? So a certified hand therapist, um, you know that that person is going to have a lot of um, self-education, they're going to have a lot of coursework behind them, they're going to have a lot of experience working with different hand surgeons, different doctors, um, somebody that is going to have a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge for the field. So friends and family always ask me, um, because the exam is optional, why would I bother working so hard? Why would I, you know, pay $500 to sit for this extremely challenging exam? Um, and for me, the answer is simple. Um, I have worked extremely hard to get where I am and to have the knowledge base that I have. I love hand therapy. It's absolutely my passion. I feel like I am in the exact right career. Um, and it's just it's something that I find so enjoying um, it's so complex and challenging and it makes me work really hard. I really want my patients to get better and so that motivates me to learn more and to always be pushing myself to find better interventions, um, better treatment goals, better strategies to manage their care, different progressions, um, exploring different protocols to help advance our field and to help my patients get better faster and get back to the things that they need to do and they want to do. Um, but having a certification, it also pushes our field of hand therapy to grow, right? So the more certified professionals we have out there, the better care our patients are going to get. Um, and so for me, it's, it's an easy choice. And yes, it's going to be extremely difficult and it's very daunting. Um, it's a very difficult exam, but I'm really excited to have the opportunity to eventually get to sit for it and, and eventually pass and get my CHT um, credentials or my certification. So that's how I view it. Um, there are certainly hand therapists out there that will never sit for the exam and, and that's fine too. Um, it's just not something that I would ever consider because yeah, it's it's a lifestyle. I feel like hand therapist, um, that job is a lifestyle, truly. It's not just a job that you go in, you do your work and you go home. Um, you're constantly having to learn and study. The field is advancing all the time. The surgical protocols and techniques are advancing all the time. And so our treatment of those patients are gonna change all the time. So it's what you make of it, um, but yeah. So the CHT exam uh, is given through the HTCC, or the Hand Therapy Certification Commission. Um, it's given twice a year, once in May and once in November. Um, and so there are a few different requirements that you have to have before you're eligible to um, sit for the board exam. And so they actually just recently changed it in 2017. Um, so now, to be able to sit for the exam, the exam, sorry, you have to have three years of experience. Um, you have to have been registered, licensed as an OT or a PT for three years by the time of the exam. Um, it used to be five years and they just changed it um, a couple of years back so you're able to sit a little bit earlier if you have enough hours. Um, you also have to have 4,000 hours of direct hand therapy or upper extremity treatment experience. So quite a big chunk of time, definitely. Um, if you're working full-time in a hand clinic, uh, it's not doesn't take that long to get. Right after two to three years, you're going to have that 4,000 hours. If you're working part-time or, or um, per diem or things like that, it might take you a little bit longer. Um, and you just have to kind of keep track of those hours, make sure that you hit them so that when you apply for the exam, you're not surprised. Um, so it's definitely a process. You, you do have to have, you know, those three years of experience and, and then those 4,000 hours to be eligible to sit for the exam. And uh, so that's everything for the video today. Hopefully you got a little bit of an understanding or an overview of kind of what is a hand therapist versus what is a certified hand therapist. Um, different reasons why you may want to eventually sit for your board certification um, to become a CHT. Um, and a little bit about what's required, so those eligibility requirements. Um, it is definitely 
going to be a challenging year for me getting ready for this exam. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also a little bit no nervous and overwhelmed. So excited to kind of share that experience with all of you guys and um, anything that I find helpful along the way, definitely I will let you know. I'm um, just, you know, getting ready to kind of study and figuring out which resources I'm going to use and which courses I want to take this year to get um, get a little bit more knowledge base going and, and kind of how I'm going to figure out my study schedule. But I'll share all of that with you guys too. If you have any tips for me, please feel free to comment below. I'm always looking for advice or um, different resources that you found helpful. I, um, right now I'm planning to use the purple book, uh, if any of you know what that is, um, and Rehab of the Hand for any um, kind of reading that I need to do. I also have a couple other books that I'll probably end up going through little by little. Um, yeah, so let me know what you want to know. Comment below, um, send me a message, anything like that. And if you liked this video, go ahead and like. Um, and if you can please subscribe to the channel so that you never miss hand therapy content, um, go ahead and do that now. Looking forward to this video series and thank you guys so much for watching and for staying patient with me through this long-winded babble session. Okay, have a great weekend. Thanks.